Hi there. Welcome back to the video series of building recommendation systems with TensorFlow. My name is Wei, and I'm a developer advocate at Google. In our last video, we showed you how to incorporate context features and how to build a multitask recommender. Today, we're going to extend our discussion to Dependent Cross Network. Dependent Cross Network, short for DCN, came out of Google research and is designed to learn explicit and bounded degree cross features effectively. As you may already know, large and sparse feature space is extremely hard to train. Oftentimes, we need to do a lot of manual feature engineering, including designing cross features, which is very challenging and less effective. While it's still possible to use traditional neural networks under such circumstances, it's not the most efficient approach. Deep in the cross network, it's specifically designed to tackle this challenge. Before we dive into DCN, let's first spend a little bit of time reviewing what feature cross is. Let's say we're building a recommender system to sell a blender to customers. Then a customer's past purchase history, such as purchased bananas and purchased cooking books or geographic features are single features. If one has purchased both bananas and cooking books, then this customer will be more likely to click on the recommended blender. The combination of purchased bananas and purchased cooking books is referred to as feature cross, which provides additional interaction information beyond the individual features. We can keep adding more cross features to even higher degrees. In real-world recommendation systems, we often have large and sparse feature space. So identifying effective feature crosses in this setting would often require manual feature engineering or exhaustive search, which is highly inefficient. To tackle this issue, Google research team has proposed Deep and Cross Network, DCN. It starts with an input layer, typically an embedding layer, followed by a cross network containing multiple cross layers that models explicit feature interactions, and then combines with a deep network that models implicit feature interactions. The deep network is just a traditional multi-layer perception, but the core of DCN is really the cross network. It explicitly applies feature crossing at each layer, and the highest polynomial degree increases with layer depths. The figure here shows the n plus one's cross layer in the mathematical form. There are a couple of ways to combine the cross network and the deep network. We can stack the deep network on top of the cross network, or we can place them in parallel as you can see here. You can even create more than one cross network and concatenate them before stacking the deep network on top of them. You can use your own creativity to come up with more interesting structures here. To help you build a DCN, TensorFlow Recommenders has provided a ready-to-use cross layer. It's very easy to use. As you can see here, we set up the input layer and the embedding layer as usual. Next, we use tfrs.layers.dcn.crosslayer to build the second order of feature crosses. Then we use cross layer again to build the third degree of cross features. Lastly, we stack a dense layer on top of the cross network. You can, of course, add more dense layers to make it deeper. And that's all you need to build a deep and cross network. One of the nice things about DCN is that you can visualize the weights from the cross network and see if it has successfully learned the important feature crosses. I'm illustrating this from a learned weight matrix for movie lens datasets. As you can see, the darker the cell is, the stronger the interaction between two features is. In this case, the feature cross of user ID and movie ID is of great importance. So this is a simple introduction to DCN. There are many creative ways you can leverage DCN, and please refer to our documentation for more details. Just to summarize, Today, we discussed how to leverage deep and cross network to build more efficient recommenders. I have put together some resources for you to check out in case you want to learn more about DCN. In our next video, we'll be showing you how to efficiently deploy retrieval models using SCAN. See you next time.